Hi, this is Asin. You are now watching Asin SL TV. Today, we would like to share how to create reset button on user form. Let's press it to the developer tab and visual basic. Let's insert a command button as the reset button on the user form. Choose the back color, the caption, the font, select the desired style and click on OK, as well as the font color if needed. Next, double click on the command button to write the code. To reset all the values, in this video, we are going to use a for loop to run through all the controls on the user form. It's not recommended to use the sequence method. For example, for i equal to 1 up to the number that we have. This is because firstly, the numbering of controls may not be in sequence. Secondly, we may want to reset more than one type of controls. As we can see here, we have text box, combo box, option button, as well as the check box. To run through them at the same time instead of using the numbering method we can run through each control on the user form by using a dummy it can be any letter or word for example ctrl in the user form we can use the name user form one or simply me followed by dot controls press enter take note that when resetting all the controls on the user form we should separate the option button and the checkbox from the others since these two controls provide only boolean response, so we should reset them by using the condition if. Use the type name function to check the types of control that we have. Bracket and the control, which is CTRL for this case, close bracket, and we should set equal to option button type in string so which means that we need quotation marks as spoken just now we should separate option button and checkbox from the others so we have two types here which means that either option button or the checkbox we can copy and paste it here now change option button to checkbox if that is the case then we should set the value that is dot value property of this control to false if not the case we have else but note that not all types of controls we should reset for example the labor and the command button to avoid resetting the labors as well as the command buttons we should exclude them so instead of using else we should use else if and now change option button to labor and checkbox to command button the syntax is very important so we should ensure we type correctly our intention is not to reset the labor and the command button so we should change to not or equal and they must be not for both so we use an operator and now set the value again use the dot value property and we set equal to empty which means that simply with only the quotation marks since we start with if of course we need to end with if finish the first control we should proceed to the next if we have other conditions or requirements when we click on the reset button we can type after this for loop for example I wish to show the word first for text box 1 while last for text box 2 and both of them with specific for color. Let's back to the reset button and type our requirements here. Firstly, set the value of the text box 1 to first. Also, in terms of string with the quotation marks. Next, we should change the color. So we have me dot text box 1 as well and use the dot for color property and set to the desired color. If you have no idea what is the code for the specific color that we want, don't worry. Let's back to the user form. Click on the desired text box. Scroll and look for for color. Click on the color. Press Ctrl A to select all the words or text. Now, copy and back to the reset button paste it here let's copy and paste to repeat the same things for the text box 2 remember to change the number 1 to 2 and the verse if needed and according to reset all controls on the user form are now done let's run and check the result simply type anything here and click on reset and all controls are reset except for the labels as well as the command buttons as we can see here okay that's all for this video thanks for watching hope you like this see you